Designer Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly use symbols in Affinity Designer. Now I've got some design here, very basic design, just a selection of circles and you'll see over here you've got the layers. Now if I actually come over to here symbols, you can go and quickly go over here and you can find the symbols in view and studio and symbols, just there. And you can click create and then what you'll see is you've got three symbols created now you might not want three symbols created so if that's the case you can also just quickly go to group so you can actually group them so i'm just gonna undo that because i don't want to add those symbols as that i want to add it to group so go to layer and group and then create and then you've got the symbol design there now once you've actually got the symbol, what you can do, you can use it multiple times. So you can just quickly drag there, just drag that around there. Of course, it creates it as the, doesn't create it to that size, it actually creates it to, so you can resize afterwards if you want. Also rotate. Now, these are just instances. So you can now, what you can do, just quickly go over here, you can actually modify that master symbol there and change all of these instances. How to do that? Well, the quickest way, just quickly go over here to layers and again that can be found in the view and studio and layers and just expand one of these out now one thing with this is sometimes if you start can actually start getting confused which one you're actually working with so just be careful to make certain it's that one there and I and often I just edit it and just say edit just so I know that that's the one I'm editing and using I only work from that one that's the easiest way of doing that so you can actually then just select on those once you've expanded it out you can then just go and select that so if you say move that and you'll see that then that change is relative relative to the other one see that's why it gets a bit confusing you start going over there and you start oh i think i'm editing editing that one but you're actually that's the key one there and you can resize it of course change the color so you go there and you can see you can change all of them at the same time now of course you can do that with any kind of symbol created so it could be like type and many other things you can just change it so it's changed everywhere so once you've actually done that you decided that's what you want you've got that now say you want to add something else to that symbol so again just quickly go over here say like um, I'm just going to go for a, a star I'm just going to add a star basic star now at this point just it's not actually added to any of them so but I'm going to use again like say this one here so just quickly go over there select that and just drag down there and now that's part of that symbol and you can see that design moves around there it uh, takes a few seconds you can just see it just right you can change the color of that as well don't go that one go that way right so once you do that you can move that around and it's there and of course you can move it around within that but as long as it's within that group it's part of that symbol and you can see again it's reflected up here in the master as well now, if you actually want to completely separate it, you can just click detach. That's up to you, of course. Also, you can just delete it as well. So you can just get rid of it, cut, and it's gone, and everything's updated back to what it is, was before. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.